It's the latest move to push relics of former Confederate general and KKK member Nathan Bedford Forrest out of Tennessee. One local lawmaker just filed a bill to abolish Nathan Bedford Forrest Day, which is celebrated today. With the growing controversy surrounding different monuments and tributes to Forrest, our own Rebecca Schleicher joins us live from Legislative Plaza to find out who Forrest really was. Rebecca. Well, Rory, one of the major debates is whether Nathan Bedford Forrest deserves to have his bust on display here at the state capitol. He was a slave trader and notorious for butchering unarmed men in battle, but historians say his story is so much more complicated than that. There are all sorts of stories about him. He had something like, I think it was seven horses shot out from under him in battle. He lived 150 years ago, but in 2015, the controversy surrounding Nathan Bedford Forrest is reaching a boiling point. We don't need to celebrate one of the founders of the Ku Klux Klan as one of our primary celebration days in Tennessee. Monday, Rep. Mike basic. Stewart filed a bill to abolish a day in his honor. Six days earlier, Nashville's Metro Council moved to cover the highway monument to Forrest with brush. That statute and, that, and those flags do not represent the values of Nashville. And soon, the Capitol Commission will discuss whether the bust of Forrest belongs on state grounds at all. Tennessee State Museum curator Jim Hubler also yeah, curates for the Capitol. There. He was against the bust when it was placed in the 80s, but now... I think it's part of our story. It's part of what made us who we are. And if you forget where you come from and how you got here, you might have to go through the whole thing again. And get this, he says while most people know Forrest as a slave owner, a Klan founder, and for attacking men after they surrendered, there's a lot they don't know. He was a man of his time, but he also evolved. He dumped the Klan after less than two years and started advocating for African American rights. He calls for educating them and bringing them into mainstream culture. He rallied against those involved with lynching. He was going to get a posse together and, in his word, exterminate those white people that were killing blacks. Is it enough to change people's minds? Maybe not, but historians say when it comes to people's characters... All people are not 100% good or 100% bad. He's a complex character. It's not all black and white. The Capitol Commission is made up of lawmakers, commissioners, and people appointed. That group is going to meet here Friday at 9 a.m. to discuss what to do about the bust here on Capitol grounds. Reporting live at the Capitol, Rebecca Schleicher, News Channel 5 HD. The bust at the Capitol is right across from a relic of David Farragut, a Tennessee-born admiral for the U.S. Navy during the Civil War. Curator Jim Hubler says the two together tell the story of how Tennessee was divided between allegiance to the U.S. and the Confederacy during the war.